all. One by one, let them die. Okay, let them die. Now the Bible says when when the disciples came to Jesus and some people were disobeying Jesus. You know, this is Jesus. This is God. And so, um, they, when they were disobeying, the disciples said, Ah. Lord, let us call fire from heaven and destroy the people. And he says, you speak of the wrong spirit. So there is a video of Pastor Mukuba. Two videos, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to show you two videos. So stay tuned for that particular one. You know, today I got my gorilla look. You know, I mean business. And so Pastor Mukuba has two videos that are out there. First one is when she's preaching, saying that people should kill people. You know, God must kill the police people that came to her church. You know, police function under a law. So we got to talk about that. You, you function under under your law when you are praying against demons and get, hey good luck now even police when they are functioning as policemen they function under a particular law so we will have to highlight all these things in this particular video so do stay tuned for all of that is the reality show we'll do daily christian commentary videos if it's the first time over here do be sure to hit the subscribe button don't be part of the 52 percent of people that watch these videos and they're not subscribed other videos down in the pinned comments and so the first video we're gonna watch is the one where she's preaching. Anchor. Yeah, you can see them there, they are red. You know what Zaloni? I was about shifted it to low. <laughs> you can see they are about to start shifting chairs now. You know when they, you know there's always that brother who's always a vu, vu, vu. When you are praying, he's passing you that way, he passes you. Hey, calm down. <laughs> you can see they're moving chairs now. So let's hear what the prayer exactly of Pastor Mukuba was exactly. I'm gonna play it here. And I'll come back to the points. So don't rush ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Against your church, they are carrying guns. They leave the criminals in the street. And they come to church. They come to people without guns. They want to destroy people without guns. Lord, deal with their families. Kill them one by one. Deal with their families. Three points. We'll come back to these points by one kill them oh. one by one let them die okay let them die now the bible says when when the disciples came to jesus and some people were disobeying jesus you know this is jesus this is god and so um they, when they were disobeying the disciples said ah lord let us call fire from heaven and destroy the people and he says you speak of the wrong spirit you see the church has a problem when you cannot tell when a person is off track so the a position of function right now as a pastor is off track. You have gone off the route. That's why Jesus told the disciples there that you don't know what spirit you are under. So she doesn't speak of the spirit. They say God has will that all should be saved. She's not speaking of salvation. She's not saying let all of them come to the recognition of the truth that they are trying to raise. Ah! She has her own agenda. The agenda is let them die and their children. Now, let's be very clear. The reason for the church being closed and not being open the way you want it to be, meaning thousands of you can gather in one church, is that you and your families, yeah, you see, while you are praying those, that those people's families should die, yeah, you and your families will be safe. So it's very fascinating to me that you would be tackling that one. There was another point that she actually mentioned here that I want to get back to. They are carrying guns. They leave the criminals in the street and they come to church. They come to people without guns. Okay, this point about guns, to say that they come to people without guns. Uh, you see, a criminal is not defined by a gun. They are, they are Yahoo boys. They don't have to carry a gun. All he needs is a laptop. You will deal with your pocket. You know a Yahoo boy you. <laughs> a pulpit bandit. He will tell you that buy my microphone every time you speak. Every word you speak into. Guys, by the way, this microphone I'm putting it out for sale. If you buy this microphone, whatever you say into this microphone shall come to pass. <laughs> Let's be very clear. What you are seeing is the sand for most of these people moving from under their feet. There's a parable that Jesus talks about of the man who built a house on sand and one who built a house on 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 a rock that's very important from what you are seeing here you see what she's saying falls under that particular entire picture is that they don't know where they stand so whenever comes that shakes them it is against them you see if you haven't defined what you truly believe anything that comes threatens you they think this is persecution this is nothing you are not ready 
Because they haven't read what the Bible actually says about the time of persecution. The government right now is merely looking out for you. Rules that the policeman functions and thank you when you are praying, you function under a particular rule and ranking as priest and all that kind of stuff. When a policeman is wearing a uniform, there is a rule by which he functions under. And from yesterday back, we didn't have the rights to just go out and open as many people into church. And so that is the rule that you had broken. So the policeman was functioning in Israel. Now we're not talking about the people that are hurt. I was not in a riot. If you get hurt in a riot, you got what came, what came to you. You want me to cry for you? For what? I started a riot. Go to their Facebook page. You'll see. They haven't dealt with you. They haven't cooked your brain. Soon you'll be crying, ah, this pastor did this, you know, these pastors are false. You are the reason why these pastors are false. When a pastor is clearly declaring other people's children to, to die, you are there praying, moving chairs so that you can pray. This one, which is... <laughs> Do you see the way they are talking to you? Yes, this is the authority they now you set over you. A policeman. The reason why they arrest people is because you failed to think the way we have put rules around the rest of us. And so what they do is they, they will tell you when to eat. They will tell you when you stand up. They will tell you when to enter the car. What you are seeing now is to show you that you are functioning in a wrong way. And when are you functioning in your prayer and when you are doing all that? All the, <laughs> when they function in their role, they have rules. So the honest question here is, why do they think it is fine to curse other people's families to death? That's a question you will have to really ask them because they are functioning away from truth. You see, the, 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 the will of thinking they can just declare and decree whatever they want it's it's swiping out away from their feet you don't determine what the rest of the country should be like if there is a a panda panda issue here is a health aspect of it and all that kind of stuff i've said before it, they have not said take the mark of the beast and so i don't understand why the hysteria why the fear mongering of feeling like you are under attack don't gather more than 50 people and all that kind of stuff and so in their church they gathered more than that and so this is you guys had broken the rules in that particular state now if you don't respect those rules it's fine but the bible tells us when government is not completely off let's stay within line okay and so everything else falls under that part so you want to talk like for instance people might want to get onto this entire thing of saying you know was the government wrong was they uh, should 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 one particular church risk the rest of us going back into level five that's the question and so that's what they are dealing with and so there's a lot more to be talked about than what could be said here but we're just highlighting some of these things to say we need to deal with the subject in its full scale it's the rich reality show to daily christian commentary videos if you're seeing this video and there isn't anything in the pink comments do keep your notifications on when the other videos come out you will get them it's ricky and i will see you on a later on the same way you wouldn't be kissing your kids to death what makes it right for you to be kissing other people's kids i'll wait for the answer it's ricky salute